Brilliantmaths.com, where every student has an opportunity to learn and excel in math. We have a lesson now, and it's taken from Brilliant Maths Module 7. Get a copy and let's go to class. So next, what do we do? The next line I need to draw is the line CD, and it's supposed to be equal to 27 centimeters. So I open up my pair of compasses again to 27 centimeters, put the point, the pinpoint at C and strike an arc. So 27 centimeters. Accuracy is very important. So that's 27 centimeters. I place it at C, that's a point where the 75 degrees meets with the 60 degrees. Then, I strike an arc. The final arc will be the length of B, C. So I use my pair of compasses to capture that length and then Put it at point A and strike an arc so that it intersects this other arc and that will be my point D for the parallelogram. So what is that length? So at the point C, take your time to get the actual point. All right, that's what we have. I put a pin at A, and then I strike an arc. The point of intersection is my point D. So I join the line from A to the point of intercession, which is D. That is D. And then I join C to D. And that gives me my parallelogram. Can you see that the parallelogram looks correct? Take your time to complete yours. The final question is measure line BC. And line BC from my construction is equal to 27 centimeters. So BC is equal to 27 centimeters. Try out yours. The steps are very easy to take. Just follow the steps, the instructions one after the other. You have learned the various skills that we need to be able to construct. So practice makes perfect. Get a copy of Brilliant Math Model 7 and practice more questions. In this part of the lesson, we are learning how to draw locus. The locus of a point is the path the point traces as it moves obeying certain conditions. The path the point traces as it moves, obeying certain given conditions. 
and the plural of locus is loci. So it's a path. All right, locus one. The locus of a point equidistant from a fixed point O. So assuming we have a fixed point, and we are told to draw the locus of the point equidistant, meaning equal distance, points that are of equal distance from that given point. Hi there. Do you struggle with mathematics? Or do you panic whenever you have a math test in school? Not to worry anymore. BrilliantMaths.com is here to ensure that you excel in maths. This is the Brilliant Maths website. Do well to read about us. Complete the student registration form and submit. We have resources that cover both primary and secondary school mathematics. Choose your year group and sign up for it. The resources are adequate to prepare you for your school exams and any end of certificate year examination, such as the WASI, the IGCSC, the 10th grade exam, the KTC, all exams across Africa and other countries. We also have 10 modules that cover secondary school mathematics. The modules come with video lessons, examples, exercises for independent work and answers to help you check your work. For all your mathematics needs, subscribe to BrilliantMaths.com and you'll be on your way to success in mathematics. My name is Ngozi Orevogene and always remember that math is fun and you can excel in it. That path will be a circle. So for example, draw the locus of the point 10 centimeters from A. So we have point A there. Locus of points that are 10 centimeters from A means the distance between each of those points and A should be 10 centimeters. And what does that look like? It's a circle. So that locus, Open up your pair of compass. Open up your pair of compasses to 10 centimeters and then just draw draw a circle. Okay. It's been difficult, but at least I think I've been able to draw my circle. With your pair of compasses, it will be much easier. So that locus is a circle. So every point on this circumference is 10 centimeters away from point A. So that's the locus of the point 10 centimeters from A. Locus B. The locus of points which are less than a fixed distance from a given point, that locus is the region inside the circle. For the first one, it is the circumference of the circle. We have agreed on that. But the locus of the points which are less than 10 centimeters from point A would then be all the points inside the circle because inside the circle is less than 10 centimeters not touching the circumference let's look at some more drawings we want to look at a practical example of drawing a locus the diagram drawn to a scale of one centimeter to one meter shows a garden made up of a path and some grass. A goat is attached to a post at the point P by a rope of length 15 meters. Draw the locus of all the points in the garden that the goat can reach when the rope is tight. This is very interesting. So 
from this question, we know that this garden is a scale drawing of a garden in real life. One centimeter on this garden is actually one meter in real life. So, a goat is attached to the post at the point P. At this point, we have the goat tied with a rope of length 15 meters. Draw the locus of all the points in the garden that the goat can reach when the rope is tied. So the rope is 15 meters. And the goat is tied here. So from our scale drawing, one centimeter represents one meter. So we're going to have a rope of 15 centimeters on the board. That's what we're going to draw since we're drawing to scale because we can't draw 15 meters inside this room. Talk more of on the board. So we open up our pair of compasses to 15 centimeters. So you take your ruler and check. 15 centimeters. How do we determine the locus of that point? So if the goat is tied here, so the goat is standing there, it can only go around as long as the rope will allow. So as you can see, that will give us the path, the locus of the points that the goat can reach. So the locus of all the points that the goat can reach when the rope is tight is a circle with radius 15 centimeters, which is the length of the rope. However, because the question says it has to be within the garden, we're not going to have the entire circle. It will just be radius 15 centimeters within the garden. So that's, our, that's where the goat is tied. So ordinarily, the goat can go around like this, all round. But for the purpose of this question, it's just going to be within the garden. So this will be the locus of the points the goats can reach. So the locus of the points the goats can reach within the garden will just be this part of the garden. Like I said earlier on, construction demands accuracy. So please make sure your measurements are correct. This radius will be 15 centimeters by the construction. But in real life, it will be 15 meters. So that's the locus of the point that the goats can reach within the garden when the rope is tight. For more of such examples, get a copy of Brilliant Maths Model 7.